people this is manvendra and chinki and this is our first travel video and what better place than goa now goa is known for its beautiful blue beaches and happening nightlife after all goa is the ultimate travel destination we went to goa in monsoon season reason being that's the off season so we get the best of goa in low price with less crowd and a lot of privacy our journey to goa begin with landing at dabalim airport we had booked a room at parera villa as it is hardly 15 to 20 minutes drive from airport villa is owned by parera family who are a goan family who welcomes you just like their family members the rooms are comfortable and available in a pocket friendly rate our first day was just about relaxing and unwinding Our second day was about traveling towards North Goa. On our way we visited Naval Aviation Museum. It is the only naval aviation museum that exists in India and one of the seven in world. Real aircrafts and ballistics are kept for display. Entry fee is around 50 and it is closed on Mondays. So guys, make it a point not to visit Naval Aviation Museum on Mondays. At North Goa we booked a room at Hotel La Veda. This hotel is at walking distance from Baga Beach. That evening we went for a dinner at Brito's at Baga Beach. Brito's is famous for its lively music, good food and amazing ambience. It will roughly cost you around 1500 for a dinner of 2. Next morning we hired a scooter. cuz that is the best transport available we went to basilica of bomb jesus at old goa it enshrines the sacred remains of saint francis xavier see cathedral is at walking distance from basilica of bomb jesus from there we drive for about 3 3 and a half hour to reach dhoot sagar waterfalls Dood Sagar literally means sea of milk. It is the fifth highest waterfall in India. It is perched on lofty heights of Western Ghats and falling from 600 meters. The sight is delight to eye. However, the ride is bumpy. Later in evening, we went for at Panajim at Our Lady of Immaculate Church. We did a lot of shopping on our way back. Shopping in Goa is comparatively pocket friendly. It is a crime not to buy cash shoes if you visit Goa. Finally, the day ended with a yummy dinner at Kalangite Beach. Kalangite Beach is another beautiful place with a lot of lively music. Our last day at Goa and a lot of things to do. We visited Chapora Fort. which is the most popular tourist destination though mostly in ruins the fort gives a spectacular view of wagatar and anjuna beach it was constructed by the first ruler of bijapur adil shah on our way back we had a brunch at the famous mango tree at wagatar this place is known for its goan sausages and fish stuffed pizza Dona Paula is a tourist destination in the suburbs of Panaji. Many Bollywood movies like Singham and Ek Dooje Ke Liye have been shot here. Fort Aguada was built by Portuguese in 1612. The four-story lighthouse was assembled in 1864 and is oldest in Asia. Goa's 105 kilometers of coastline provides ideal location for water sports like banana riding, scuba diving, paraskiing, etc. Do try some adventurous water sports and have an adrenaline rush. So guys, this was our first travel video. Thanks for watching. Do comment on how to upgrade our videos. Also, like, share and subscribe. with lots of love from manvendra and chinki